What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to some more Elden Ring. And as you can see, I'm still here hacking and slashing my way through this dragon's health, but we're almost done. And at this point, I think what we're going to do is we're going to pop the gold pickle foul foot and we're just going to hack and slash our way through it. There we go. And watch the souls just pour on in, because not only do you get the souls from this dragon, but you also get the souls from the surrounding five dragons. 64,559. Oh, man, isn't that just beautiful? Oh, yes. That is fantastic. Let's go and spend our hard earned runes. Now, first thing we're going to do, we're going to take endurance up to 20. Health up to 25. I think I need strength up to 18, but. I'm going to try to shoot that for 20. No, I'll leave that at 18. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start slowly pumping things into mind and intelligence. Which actually, and speaking of that, then should we dump one into intelligence now so we can get some sorcery offhand? I think we'll start there. That'll be good. Very nice. Oop. So we have another 6,000. And what do we need to level up? We need to be at 9,900. Going in there is 100% going to be a full on suicide run. So. What I'm thinking we're going to do is. Do we do the bird farm? Or. Huh. Trying to think, what should we do to get a quick... Oh, wait, hang on. Do I have... Uh, not enough, but 800 more. So what we need pretty much is a quick dungeon. Where do we have a quick dungeon that we have not done? Ooh. You know what? I'm tired of all this. All this putzing around. It's time to go get the bad boy. We're going to go get the bloodhound fang. Sit down. Don't even try to come near me. These things, I have no idea what they are, why they're here, but they're here. What we're going to do is we're going to get the Bloodhound Fang and we're going to hang out with our buddy Blyde. And we're going to absolutely wreck this boss. The, the bleed damage that I'm about to do to him is going to be stupid. No, true justice. No. This is where it ends for you. Bleed in this game is absolutely overpowered. Bye. 
But look at that, he almost got me. But there it is, the Bloodhound's Fang. That is going to absolutely start packing a wall up. Mm. Very happy to have that. to work for it but it's done don't say i'm not a man of my word here's your prize thank you sir oh yes i should say if you venture north to rail lucaria and come across a venerable blacksmith who's a little on the large side tell him i sent you and he'll be sure to treat you right i owe you one i reckon dude blight is such a huge huge man <laughs> Wolf, beast, whatever the hell you want to call him, but he is, he is big. <laughs> He's a big boy. Yeah, I didn't think that we'd be able to use that right away, but I can use it in place. Oh, yeah. So, but if we're going to use this, there's no point in using this, at least for us. Um single-handed with the shield and having the shield with a uh with a skill on it there's just no point in that it's not gonna work for our build so what we need to do is we need to go and get the no skill ash of war and then that will um that will allow us to use the Bloodhound Fang uh, weapon art at any time that we want while also having our shield in our offhand. And the Bloodhound Fang weapon art is by far one of my favorites. <laughs> and that's what's great about having a great sword. You just drag it on the ground. <laughs> Got him. Let's get this grace right here. And we'll talk to, I think her name is Rodrika, if I remember correctly. Stone sword key, very nice. That is very useful. We know where we're going with that. Everyone who came with me, they crossed the sea for me, they fought for me. <laughs> Only to have their arms taken, their legs taken, even their heads. Taken. Taken and stuck to the spider. Did you know if you're grafted by the spider, you become a chrysalid? It's quite a lark when you think about it. You're all on your own. So later on, when we're in uh, Stormvale Castle, we will fight a grafted scion that um, she is talking about right now. There ain't no sh no shame in fearing death. Sure, I'll be joining their club soon enough. 
I'm finally getting the hang of this whole pain thing, you know. It was a pleasure to oh, tell them okay. I'm finally getting the hang. Cool. Well, now we have talked to her. We need to go this way. All right, yeah, yeah, this way. And then down this way is the armor shack. Let's test out our new weapon, shall we? Oh. Not bad. Packs a wallop. Sit down. <laughs> oh, man. The Bloodhound Fang damage output is fucking amazing especially once you start upgrading it it is really worth uh investing in Ooh. frame rate right here is dying Almost there to getting another level up. Unfortunately, probably gonna spend some runes right now. That's right. Takes me back. That's a quality needed now more than ever. Any interest in bearing the torch of my battle arts? Absolutely. That's why we're here, sir. Picked up a fair few tricks in my time too. Now's the time to pass them on to a good and proper tarnished like you. No skill. That is what we want. And then I don't think you can replace the one on the Uchikatana. Well. Oh wait. Oh. There's a myriad of battle arts in these. There we go. Grabs the use or hit the talk button. Lost and died. A fine tale, all told of true chivalric romance. That's how I fell in love with the sword and the arts of combat. It grants meaning even to falling in battle, to death itself. Well, until we meet again. Mainly the next time we meet him will be when we go to the uh, Volcano Manor. There we go. Nice. And now we have access to Bloodhound's Finesse. And boy, does it have some finesse. Let's see, though. What is... So, right now, without being upgraded, the Bloodhound Fang is doing 10 more damage than the Uchi. But it's slower, mind you. Um... Ooh, nice. We can start putting a bow in our offhand over here. That is very nice. Now, next, let's go 
and get our talisman for extra stamina or stamina regen. And that'll really help us out. Yes, please. Dog. Bad dog. <laughs> yes, the green turtle talisman. Yes, please. Oh, a heavy load, unfortunately. Well, I'll tell you what's going away. That bow. For increased stamina recovery speed? Yes. Absolutely. Gonna need that. Now. Um. How much do we need? I need 1100. I see a shiny. Oh. Mushrooms. Oh, yeah. Um, so that got us a little bit. Not enough. Not nearly enough. Um, you know what? Let's go make our way down to the beach and we'll go clear out that cave. I want to make sure that we spend all of our runes are actually. Ooh. Wait. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I was making sure I pressed the wrong button combination. I was like, oh, no, tell me. I didn't forget what I was pressing. <laughs> um, yeah. So let's actually, while we have runes. And he says the same thing every time. Let's upgrade this. How much? Okay, so we were able to get it up to plus two for now. Um, but what are we doing for damage output now? 238. Oh, yeah. There we go. Let's go get our Baldekin's blessing and then we'll be out of here. I am pleased you like me now. Oh, the Bloodhound thing, dude, it really it, it upgrades very, very nicely. And then once we have a actual defining stat, um, we can. Uh, Ooh, there I we go. As a deathbed companion, where I come from, after I received the warmth and lively vigor from a number of champions, I'll let her talk. I lay with the remains of an exalted noble to grant him another chance at life. To do so is the purpose of my being. But before I could bear the noble into new life. I was awakened by the guidance of grace and chased from my birthplace. Pray, be kind. Despite all that, I still wish to be a deathbed companion. So please, let me hold you like this as often as it takes. Then good day to you, my dear. 
we need her later for one of the great runes. But anywho, as I was saying, um, upgrading this will <laughs> it's vastly going to have, output some damage. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. We don't really need to do anything else here. Go back to the church and run on back down to the beach. Avoid him. We're not ready for him just yet. But we're getting there. Oh. Oh, that's what it is. The Baldekin's blessing removes health. See? See how we have missing health now? That's why you do not want to carry one of those things. Ooh, let's go get this uh, scarab. Should have something good for us. this hang on hang on gotta come at him this way getting these guys is a kind of a pain in the ass sometimes but you can get him another merchant Oh, nope. Negative. Haha! -ha. Nice try. Cool. Nothing here. Let's go. Ooh, these things are worth a hefty amount of runes, and they are so easy to destroy with the Bloodhound thing. Allow me to demonstrate. <laughs> Bye. Oh. So strong. Love the damage output on this weapon. It is absolutely borderline obnoxious. <laughs> Literally, look at that. One charged R2. Put that thing on its ass. Oh, what? What health did you have left? There was none. Go kill some apes. Ooh. Um, where's the entrance is right around here for their cave. Haha, -ha, there it is. Coastal cave. Oh. And then there's Bach. Oh. What are you doing here? You must leave this place at once. 
they'll rush in and beat you to a pulp. No, they won't. Just like me. And no, I won't. Oh. Well, let's go. Let's see. I got one there. Got one here. No. You will not call for help. Just absolutely stomping these guys out. Land octopus ovaries. So eggs. Some fine caviar right there. All right, are we ready for a fight? Y'all gonna gang up? I get to have some friends as well. Oh. Sit down. Where's your other friend? Time to finesse his ass. Ooh. Ooh. That's such a shame. Y'all just went down. Absolutely decimated them. Now they're cowering. But that's that's not how this works. You can cower all you like, but try to kill me, I'm gonna kill you. And what do we got over here? Some silver fireflies. And now that we actually have a weapon that uses a skill, I'm gonna have to um, move over one of my healing flask for a cerulean flask. You don't want to stop right there. You want to keep going. Because this is going to take us to Dragon Island. Yeah. And here we are. Run right on up the hill. There's not really a whole lot to this area. Mainly, if you're a, um, if you're trying to do it like a dragon build, this is where you will come. For every dragon heart you have, you can get um, incantations, but those mean absolutely nothing to us. So we're just gonna do a quick sweep, make sure there's no good items that we need.
here a scarab. Huh. All right. Oh, well. Um, so now that that is done, let's bounce on over to Fort Faroth. We are going to spend our runes. I am totally willing to sacrifice 400 runes. Because, um... What was I? I want to see 10,000. Yeah. All right, let's go. So we're going to run in here and we're going to run for the talisman and then we're pretty much going to die. Summon our wolves as bait. We need to run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. There's the medallion. And then drop down here. And drop down here. And then we're going to run all the way over here. And then we're going to drop down here. And you're going to run this way. Oh. Nope. You're going to run this way. Ooh. Nope. Oh, man. They almost got me before we could get it. All right. They can kill me now. Kill me. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I wanted to make sure they didn't kill me before I got the talisman that we needed. 400 runes? I, I, I'm not worried about that at all. That's fucking nothing compared to the ultimate prize of what we got, which was Radagon Sword Seal, which is going to give us a tremendous stat boost. Pretty much, what is that? Plus five to all stats that we are currently using. How fucking fantastic is that? I mean, you really can't ask for anything more than that. And then now I can come over here and I, I can still put on my Uchi Katana as my backup weapon and we're good to go. I think the bow would put us, yeah, heavy load, which is okay. Let me see if we take the torch off. There we go. Medium load. Because once we get the lantern, we'll be good to go. So now we have our armament that we're going to be using for pretty much the entire game right here. Uh, the only thing that we're missing right now is our offhand for magic. Um, once we get that, we'll be sitting solid, but I mean, look at those stats. Oh yeah. What are we doing for damage now? 254? That is tremendously higher than the Uchi Katana, but the reason why you keep the Uchi around is for when you get into areas that require um, really fast attacks and you don't have that room for the Bloodhound Fang. That's when you whip out the Uchi Katana. Um, let's go ahead and. Oh, I can only craft one of these, huh? Well, I guess that's what I can get. Go ahead and craft that. I don't need fire grease, but I do need more blood grease. And I think that's pretty much all we need for now. So we're going to wrap things up right here. Uh, it's a good spot to wrap things up. And next time when we come back, we're going to continue 
um, clearing out the re few remaining things that we actually have left to do in Laernia. We need to come over here to this little ruins area right here. Just explore around up here. I know that there's a glintstone staff somewhere along this cliff line. We just need to go find that, which we actually do need that. Um, let's see what else. Oh, we need to go here for some free runes. That is always very nice. Um, let's see. What else should we mark up? I'll put that marker there. That marker there. We're not ready for this one yet. Um, oh, yeah, and we need to go see Alexander as well. So that should keep us pretty busy for quite a while now. Um, four markers for the next episode. Sounds pretty good. I will see you all next time with some more Elden Ring.